That's looking good now. Right, platforming out. Roger that. And paying out. Roger that. It's looking good. All right, welcome to the dive stream. We're diving in the Western Galapagos Spreading Center at a new site in hopes of finding some new hydrothermal vents. So we're going to be doing an exploratory dive. You know, these are unique ecosystems that are unlike anything else on Earth, and we're still only now trying to understand what shapes them. Finding a vent, it's like working for a needle in a haystack. Yeah, I'm determined. We're gonna, we're gonna find it. Mapping, uh, bathymetric data or seafloor mapping is uh, really integral to all oceanographic research. So anything from uh, coral habitat characterization to uh, climate modeling, uh, you'll need the foundational knowledge of seafloor mapping. When we were looking for vents from the surface, the, it's the equivalency of being on Mount Olympus and looking for a football post. So we were really sitting for days and hours looking at these line graphs kind of populate over time. And then we, we get to a place where Dr. Jill finally thought that ready? we should send the ROV down to have a look. ROV's in the water. Same altitude. It's a bed. All yours, Tyler. Finally, right before I was about to go to bed, uh, we started seeing a lot of squat lobsters and we started noticing a lot of fissures and faulting. Did feel like the squat lobsters were leading us like breadcrumbs, like we were Hansel and Gretel to the, to the actual vent site. Those are two worms. They're yeah. two worms. First thing we saw was a big group of Riftia popped up on the screen, which is unmistakably a hydrothermal field. I was standing right next to Roxanne, and so we both smiled and looked at each other, and we found it. <laughs> it's right there. We were all just like, whoa. Everybody, they, they found it, we found it, we found it. <laughs> and, then, and then I quickly left, because I took my energy back to the lab. <laughs> We've successfully sampled across multiple disciplines at the sites, ranging from chemistry to geology to biology. We've collected the first ever high temperature water samples. We've made the first discovery of an entirely new vent field. We've been able to build the most comprehensive data set ever for this location. I really look forward to the conversations we'll be able to have as we pull all these data sets together over the next few months. <laughs> Being on this cruise has been really powerful for me. Being an early career scientist, you struggle with imposter syndrome and kind of worrying, you know, am I good enough to really succeed in this career? And being here on a cruise and seeing two female chief scientists and all these younger career people, it makes me feel like I see someone who reminds me of myself, maybe writing a grant to come out to see in the future. This is an incredible way to jumpstart my PhD. This is like a really good opportunity to see like where it starts from. I get to do the field work. It's like a foundational you know, block for my career. It's the first time in my career I've been able to directly lead a discovery like that. And it also kind of felt historic, right? I imagine as if I were in Alvin in 1977, that's a lot like what their first view was like. Hydrothermal vents were first found here at the Galapagos Rift. And that was decades ago, but we're still making discoveries because there's so much we still don't know. We'll spend years working with this data from this expedition to characterize this vent system. By filling in the global map of hydrothermal activity bit by bit, we're aiming for a much fuller understanding of this force that drives vital processes and ecosystems all over the planet.